Most people think skin aging is just about wrinkles or something that happens only after the age of 40, which is not true. Truth is, your skin is the first line defense towards UV radiation or pollutants, toxins or even stress hormones. It is the true reflection of what's happening inside. It, it could be your gut health, inflammation, hormones or hydration. Aging doesn't happen suddenly. It's a slow process that begins earlier driven by things that you don't even notice on a daily basis. If you are facing dry skin, it could be dehydration or lack of essential fats. On the contrary, if you're facing oily skin issues, then it could be because of your zinc deficiency or hormonal imbalances. Or if you have cystic acne, it could be because of gut issues or inflammation. Overall, your skin is a reflection of your internal health. Think about it. One sleepless night and you see dark circles. Too much sugar and you notice your collagen breaking down in the skin. And long hours without sunscreen in the sun and you see wrinkles and pigmentation. These are not future problems. These are the problems that we accumulate every day over a period of time. In this video, I'll talk about how skin ages, how stress, hormones, nutrition and gut health impact your skin aging and how simple daily lifestyle changes can influence good skin health. Imagine your skin is like an armor. Basically, it protects your inner self from external threats like bacteria, viruses, fungi, toxins, pollutants, and even radiation, and protects your inner self. In an average adult, skin weighs about 4 to 5 kgs on an average. That makes up to at least 15% of your total body weight. Also, as you age, you will see clear, visible signs of aging. For example, sagginess of the skin or even wrinkles. Why does that happen? As you age, your skin repair mechanism slows down and we are more sensitive towards any kind of external threats. And your skin also carries very important immune cells. That's why when a cut happens or when we are exposed to any kind of toxins outside, body responds and reacts. There are two important drivers of skin aging. One is internal factors and others are external. Internal factors could be your metabolic diseases or your nutrition, your stress, your hormones, etc. And external factors are your exposure to environment, specifically the pollutants, UV radiation, the skin creams, etc. Contrary to what we think, 80% of the times skin ages because of the extrinsic factors. That means we have more control over our skin than we actually think. Now let's talk about internal drivers of aging like collagen, hyaluronic acid and even your hydration. As we age, the collagen, the protein breaks down in the skin and that's why we see sagginess and hydration is a very crucial element to hold the molecules together under the skin. That's why when we are dehydrated, we see that our skin is dehydrated too and it appears that it's aging faster. Collagen is basically like a scaffolding, like a framework over which the cells are laid down. And hyaluronic acid is something which holds all the proteins and water together. That's what gives you a plumpiness. As we age, both hyaluronic acid decreases and collagen also is broken down. And in people who are athletes, or doing high intensity exercises, their collagen breaks down faster. Also, elastin. Elastin is a protein which is in the skin again. It acts like a spring within the mattress and as we age, that also kind of relaxes. That's why we lose elasticity in the skin as we age. So as you see, all the three important molecules or proteins are either broken down or lose their elasticity or even lose the ability to hold water. That's why we feel all the signs of aging after the age of 30. And while when we are in our mid-20s, the rate of collagen breakdown happens by 1% every decade, which may increase in response to bad lifestyle choices, for example, high sugar intake, any metabolic diseases, dehydration, lack of nutrients, hormonal imbalances, etc. So as soon as women enters menopause, the collagen breakdown is much faster. That is the reason why women see aging faster during their menopausal years. Now let's talk about hormones. Estrogen is a very crucial hormone for skin aging. Why? Because it keeps you hydrated and it gives that plumpiness to your skin. Whereas testosterone, when it crosses process your optimal range can increase more oil production in your skin. That's why when I say hormonal imbalances like high DHT or high testosterone,
on we end up with more oily skin now other crucial hormone which can affect skin aging is cortisol when cortisol is out of balance it tells your body to break down collagen under your skin that's why the rate of skin aging is faster in individuals who have cortisol on a higher end for long periods of time the top accelerator of skin aging is uv radiation it is because it damages your dna directly and increases photo aging when you are exposed to sun without adequate skin protection which is without sunscreen it damages your skin causes increased pigmentation and increased risk for protein damage under your skin smoking is a other crucial lifestyle factor which robs your skin of its blood flow yes in people who are smoking or vaping the blood flow to your skin reduces by 40% so it literally robs away oxygen and nutrient delivery to the skin so smoking just don't affect your heart or lungs it affects your skin on a long term basis skin care doesn't just start with bathroom it begins with kitchen and bedroom let me tell you why because it depends on what kind of food you eat the protein on your plate the vitamin c rich foods make lot of difference also when your food includes good omega 3s for example walnuts or chia seeds or even fish it will add anti inflammatory properties to your skin and reduce the redness and makes it look healthy adding polyphenol rich foods for example green tea or even dark chocolates will make sure you have good blood flow to your skin which makes sure oxygen delivery and nutrients are adequate to your skin sleep is a very important repair mechanism for your skin health one bad night sleep could strip away hydration from your skin and make it look dull and dehydrated like your gut skin is also home for trillions of bacteria fungi and viruses but these are good ones whenever these good bugs are in place it will take care of your skin immune health and when this balance goes off these are the individuals at risk for cystic skin acne eczema and rosacea future is not about skin creams and lotions all the time it's about maintaining good skin biome so it could be about probiotic creams and washes that's why when you see when people are overdoing their skin care routine and using face wash more often than needed it would strip away the good skin biome and could end up in reduced immune tolerance now let's lay down foundations for good skin care which can protect your skin from dna damage age reduce oxidative stress always make sure it begins with your nutrition your plate should be a balanced meal which contains good amount of protein sources rich in vitamin c and full of fat soluble vitamins eliminate things which are very inflammatory both to your skin and your gut so keep yourself away from all foods which are high in omega 6 vegetable oils protect your skin from the external pollutants uv radiations etc by protecting your skin from good sun protection so a healthy skin care routine starts with a simple gentle cleanser which would not strip away healthy microbiome from the skin a gentle moisturizer and a good sunscreen apart from this basic care there could be add-ons like hyaluronic acid serums vitamin c face serums or peptide serums or even retinoids so these could be taken under a dermatologist supervision if you want to level up your game the other available longevity interventions are laser treatments exosomes peptides if you take a image of your face and upload it onto any ai agent it is telling you the future of your health from starting from oxidative stress to wrinkles to how your skin is aging the future is already here so when it comes to skin health as well it's not one size fits all it's your skin your data your gut hormones and your personalized protocol so here is the final takeaway skin health is not just about how you look it's about your internal health and also your external protection since it's a complete reflection of what's happening inside and your overall health skin age and skin health should be taken seriously we are trying to simplify very complex longevity science into bite size information If you think this information is useful for you and for your family members and if you think this life saving preventive hacks can help people out there please share these videos and we are trying to do this every week so please do like share and subscribe i think it will be useful for your everyday life